Welcome to Beyond the Shoots as presented by Parasite Systems. This episode is what we call a short go. Our shorter episodes that you can listen to during your commute, and more importantly, you can share it with your friends. It's at shareable size. Now, we don't have any big investors. Sam and I are doing this all on our own. We don't have a staff of researchers, writers, or editors. We do it all ourselves, and we need more listeners. We have so many great stories from so many great storytellers. We are on Facebook, Beyond the Shoots. Like us, follow us, give us comments. We try to respond to each and every one of your posts. And BTC has been on the road again. What follows is a conversation with two rodeo cowboys, Eli Hirschberger, saddle bronc rider, and Colton Swearingen, steer wrestler. Sam and I had a conversation with them on a Sunday morning in McBain, Michigan, at the famous Cow Camp Rodeo Arena. We hope that you enjoy. If I'm in McBain, Michigan, and up here for a very special event, Sam, beautiful wedding yesterday, and we've got the groom. Mr. Eli Hirschberger, he's sitting at the table. Morning, Eli. Morning, Doug. How are you, sir? We're doing pretty good. And we've got the best man sitting at the table. Colt swearing to Morning, Doug. I'm going to put you on the spot right away, Colton. Could you please, for our listeners, could you please share your toast from last night? I honestly couldn't even tell you what I said. <laughs> well, it was excellent. It was on the spot. So I think we just called his bluff. He, before we sat down, he said, oh, I had it all written out, but written out. And no, I just, just the, the beginning part, I did kind of figure I would say that. But after that, uh. So do share. Go ahead. I just said that I get pretty nervous around, like, talking in front of people. And I went on the internet to look over ways to get over that. And so said to picture everybody naked. And so I said, ladies, you guys look great tonight. And Eli, it's not that cold out here. Meaning yeah. what, Eli? I, I heard what he just said. Oh, okay. You could take a coat off I or wrote, something like that. Oh, I no, rolled no, my sleeves just, down. Naked. You oh, did. Okay. In other words, the water wasn't that cold in the pool. No. So what have you guys been up to? I know you got me to that. I know. And a great honeymoon coming up, Eli. Yeah. yeah. Two Hope, weeks. Hopefully. You're yeah. up. No, oh, really? Europe. Okay. Go ahead. Oh, we're uh, going to Switzerland for two weeks. We're landing in Switzerland. We'll uh, go to Germany and Paris and then probably stop in Belgium, kind of make a little loop through all of them. Okay. Now, this is the ex Amish kid. He's going to be in Switzerland. I know. I know. What an interesting life he has yeah. now, huh? Yeah. And a, few, and, a, and a couple of months ago, he was in the Dominican Republic, for goodness sakes. We do not want to hear those stories yet. Oh, I think, don't we, Colton? All right, yeah. I'm you got good. any DR stories you can share with us? Oh, no, it was just a pretty laid back lead. Oh, wait a minute. Let me get this on video as you say, yeah, pretty laid back. As he was. cracks into a smile. So how was DR? Just laid back? I mean, no big deal? I mean, it was... Anytime you go somewhere like that, it's a, an experience like in itself, you know, like leaving the country, which I don't necessarily like. That. Yeah. So, but it was, but it was fun to go down there and hang out. I hadn't seen Eli. I mean, I talked to him a lot on the phone, but uh, we got down there and got to talk and I hadn't seen him in probably a year or a year and a half. Like just, you know, because we both stay pretty busy and stuff. So it was nice to go down there and hang out for a couple yeah. days and have nothing to do. Yeah. And he had hung out with you for a long time down in Oklahoma, hadn't he? It was probably like six months that he stayed down there and hung out. And you traveled together when you were down there? Not, not really when we were down there. Not really when we were down there. Until the younger we did. So let's go back to some of those younger years. And, and I've heard stories, and some of this probably isn't even true. You know, on ranches, you brand cattle and that sort of thing. And I don't know if you guys were ever part of any brandings or anything. Anything come to mind when I say the word branding? No. I, I, I think Eli's yeah, been one of that. I have. Not not in New York, but in some other place where we did brand. No, I guess, no, no branding, any. Not just oh, cattle. Okay. Branded to me. Oh, people? No. Which I, I mean, it's I, only on I, Yellowstone. I, that, was all, that was all him. It wasn't like we were like, hey, Timmy, you should do this. He was just like a one. What I think so. Jeremy got branded, and then and everybody would kind of talk about that. That would be something people would talk about. 
and then that Timmy kid's, Tim and Troyer's like, hey, I'm, I'm going to get branded. So one day he's like, hey, let's just do it. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, yeah. fair enough. He's like, yeah. will you brand me? I'm like, yep. So we go do whatever. I get everybody ga gathered up. Yeah. I'm in like, everybody's going to be mad if you, you, can, you can't just sneak off one person, brand them, be like, hey, guys, look at this. They never believe you. Or, or they would because he's branded. <laughs> but like, so we get back and I couldn't do it. You couldn't do it. No, so you had well, to iron everything hot? Oh, yeah. Dad has, so Dad's got a brand that's like a big, it's a money sign now, but before the money sign had two lines to it, Dad's brand was, you know, an S with two lines to it, same function. And so he's like, oh, yeah, that money sign will work. It's a big old brand. Big, you know. Like how big? Like, like I mean, pro it probably went from two, here to here. So that's like six, eight inches big? At least. At, at least. least. Yeah. And you're going to brand him where? On the arm? On the arm. Yeah, that's where he won. Right on his. Right on the arm. Yeah. And so I'm like, I can't do it. And Raymond's like, oh, no problem. And he, so he goes, so Raymond goes to brand him. Well, yeah. Raymond's holding it close to him, kind of like you would if he had something running a squishy, you know, you know, get it lined up and stuff. Well, it's a hot brand that's human skin. Yeah, yeah. So once you hold it that close, by the time Timmy's standing as long as he could, by the time you go to move, Raymond, go to random. So then he got branded like five times, really. It wasn't like we just stuck it on him once. Yeah. It was good. Like, yeah. Stuck it on him. He moved around. Then we had to hold him. So we, you held him? <laughs> we, did, we did actually. He wanted us to. He, he wanted you to. Yeah. He wanted to get it just right. So we had yeah. to brand it him once. Yeah. Then had to keep retouching it yeah. to touch it back up. And, oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. And burn, burn, right? Yeah. yeah for all, all that summer, he had a burn. We had put, kind of got a little infected, I think. Yeah, he didn't put lotion and stuff. You didn't have to take him to the doctor or anything? We did. I mean, it was that kind of a burn? It's on the arm. Well, we branded him, and, and he went off rodeo, and so it was like two, two, three months down the road, he said that in the hot of the summer, he would have to wrap it with lotion because it would just keep on wow. pussing up. Wow. Well, when we see him, we've got to take a look at this brand. We need to get you guys don't have pictures on your phone or anything of this brand. Nobody videotaped. There's them, a video somewhere. A, is yeah. there a video? Yeah, I'm not sure where it is. Dalen's got it or Joe. Maybe Joe's got it. Yeah, so, oh, so okay. Not. Good. Okay. So this was done way before Yellowstone made this popular. <laughs> this is a long oh, time they had ago. Brandon on Yellowstone, huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But they did it on the chest, yeah. didn't they? Yeah, hell, they ain't got nothing on us. <laughs> we didn't. We didn't have the boss there doing the whole making the rules for it, like saying what this what right. this is accounted so for. So Sam wasn't no, there when no, you Sam were. Sam wasn't there. Did it was what happened? Sam was there. mad that it. Like Timmy had to wear long sleeve shirts for a couple. Yeah, I think we branded him right before the Fourth of July, and I think Timmy did leave go rodeo, but. He, he it was right before the Fourth of July, and I remember he wore long sleeve shirts like that whole week. And then the last day at Ellicottville, he'd come walking down there with a short sleeve shirt on. You could see his arm was bandaged up. Dad's like, "Oh yeah, what'd you do right there?" <laughs> and then he pull he pulls the deal back. I think Dad had, might have heard about it through the grapevine a little bit. Had you heard about it, Sam? And your reaction in that moment? Not good. Yeah. You should know. What are your thing? Yeah. Damn, I didn't keep them busy enough, that's for sure. So speaking of busy, speaking of, of going rodeo, like you just talked about Timmy Troyer, what, what do you guys got going? I know Eli's going to be out for a couple of weeks on honeymoon, enjoying that. What are you thinking, Colton? How's, how's it looking for the summer? Yeah, I think Monday I go to Weatherford, and then we kind of go to those Texas rodeos that they have going on right before everybody heads north. And then after that, go to some circuit rodeos. And the North Platte, and and just kind of, I got a young horse uh, this year, or a green horse, and I got a few guys sending me some horses to ride, and so I'm just gonna kind of ease around, just see. So you're gonna haul your horse this year? Yeah, dog and horse. Yeah, which I haven't ever done that. This is the first time I've owned a bulldog horse since I think, or the first time I've hauled a bulldog and horse somewhere. Yeah, the rodeo yeah. since yeah. I was a junior in high school. Yeah, okay. He did have a bulldog and horse in fact, and. When we're putting rodeos on, yeah, that's turned out to be a. The horse got hurt, and we gave him to some family members, and the kids are riding him, and they love it. You know, yeah, really a good horse. Okay, horse. so you're you're going to stay kind of close. You're not going way out. What are you thinking? Good uh, run. You might go. 
Yeah, no, like, after North Platte, I'm going to go to, like, I think I'm going to go to Minnesota a little bit, the Dakotas, and just more or less so, like, go out for a week or two, and then maybe come back, take a break. So you've got living quarters in the horse trailer. What are you pulling these days? No. No. No, don't roll that fancy. No, I just have a stock trailer and pick up. Okay, camper or topper on the pickup? Front seat or back seat, your choice. Really? That's And that's where <laughs> you'll be for, for a week or two? I mean, or, I mean, like, I guess I, I don't worry about it so much. You just, I'll, people have places to stay. Yeah. You know, a lot of times I'll stay with some, like, stay with somebody or... You know, my buddy will have living quarters, or or I'll be with enough guys. We're like, hey, let's just get a room. And okay, so okay, it all works out. Yeah. And how many guys do you pile into a room at this point? Well, this year it's just me and actually the kid that I radio with a bunch, Tyler Ravenscroft, his brother. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go, so just be me and Tucker. But mm -hmm. generally, just about as many as we can. As <laughs> many as you can get. Yeah, if they're willing to sleep on the floor, they can come in. Yeah, helps go down the road, doesn't it? And Eli, what are you looking at for the summer when you get back? It'll be, by the time we, I get back, it'll be pretty much the 4th of July run is coming on, so it get back and then pretty much hit the road. Yeah. Hauling with Blaine this year? Yeah. Yep. Good. And well, yeah, right at that time, he's going to be out at Nationals, so I'll probably just go with Trace, and then, if not Trace, by myself. Oh, wow. Till Blaine gets back. The Nationals, National High School yeah, Finals. Yeah. Rodeo yeah. qualified for that. Do you know if, if Blaine is going to the IOIFR? No, no, I don't think he's going to. Yeah, didn't sound like it. Yeah. And you got some new shirts, a rawhide red shirt. You're rolling down the road this year. Yep, yep, thank you. Thank yes. you. It'll be, I'll be rolling in red all okay. summer long. Well, one thing we want to do with both you guys, if you guys are available, we want to catch up. Where you been, what you doing, how you feeling, who you hauling with, that sort of thing. What are your plans? So we catch up with you this summer. We'd love to do that. Now, now let's add things. to that. Yeah. Where yeah. are you spending all this money you make? Yeah. Here that you're are out you there. Winning, yeah, and, uh, spending that money. You bet, wisely. you bet. <laughs> or send it back home, put it in a savings account. Yeah, no. <laughs> you uh, been trying to get in method. I bought me a house. Did you you yeah. bought a house? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, but most of it goes there. Most of it go. Yeah, <laughs> you'll be surprised how Trust much will go there. So, any words of wisdom for these youngsters that are? Breaking out right now. Any any thoughts? That is a lot wiser than I am. <laughs> you, really, you really got us right. Right after the big party last night. not how much wisdom at this table. <laughs> Eli's a lot smarter than I am. Well, let's learn from it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Move on. Get, yeah. get in the truck and go rodeo. Get yeah. in the truck, go rodeo. Yeah. And, and don't get branded or do get branded. What's your advice, sir? Your own preference. If you want to get branded, get branded. And nobody and the name I ain't getting branded. I watched it. I ain't getting branded. Oh my goodness! What a story. The the the, the Brandon story, and there's another one with BJ and hanging somebody off a spear of a tractor from the farm. That's about the two. We got to get BJ on here. Are you part of that story? I think that kid that was hanging by the tractor would not say it was the best story. Yeah. Okay, and that's as far as we want to go. Okay. So more <laughs> more rawhide rodeo stories to come. All right. Thanks for being on the show. This is absolutely perfect. And you still have an opportunity if you'd like to run through. You gave us the opening of that toast, Colton. But if you'd like to run through it, it was really super good. Do you remember any of it? Just one of them things had to be here for. Yeah, yeah. And it's probably on, on video camera somewhere. Yeah, yeah. I, I thought it was pretty good. I, I didn't cry for the whole ceremony, but I teared up when it was did you? And did you? So it meant a lot. That. Well, very cool. Will you guys be safe? Be all right. Be smart with your money. Hit as many as you can go. Win as many as you can. Anything to add to that, Sam? Be smart. Not be just smart. with your money. Be smart. Be smart. <laughs> Make good decisions. <laughs> Thank and you, guys. Lord knows we've made yeah. a lot of bad Thanks for having us. Thanks, Thanks for being on. I hope that you enjoyed our short go episode with Eli and Colton, part of the OG, the original rawhide rodeo crew and we want to thank parasite systems for their support as we travel the roads and highways to have these great conversations 
Parasite System is a push-button parasitic diagnostic system for pasture animals, horses, cattle, goats, sheep, chickens, and for your companion animals, your dogs and your cats. You can find them at, you can find them at ParasiteSystems.com. We spell that P-A-R-A-S-I-G-H-T as in seeing systems. Get your animals tested. Check with your vet to see if they have the Parasite Systems all-in-one device for testing your dogs for three types of worms and coccidia and giardia while you wait. Or you can go online to Parasite Systems to order your new Fast Fecals mail-in kits. And we have a coupon code for that, 50% off. If you use this code, when you go on to Parasite Systems, BTC023, again, BTC023 for 50% off. To make your listening easier, you can find us on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. Search for Beyond the Shoots and follow us. Like us, give us comment, let us hear from you. Reminder, check out our Beyond the Shoots Facebook page and click follow. Word of mouth is our best advertisement. Tell someone that you know that you think they should listen to one of the BTC episodes. And do this. Share it on your Facebook page to your account. Let's build some rodeo fans. This is Beyond the Shoots with Eli Hershberger, Colton Swearingen, and Sam Swearingen. Until next time, this is Doug Simcock. Thank you for listening.